Before watching, check the description. There's a Bybit registration link there. It's my top exchange, best volume, liquidity, and lowest fees. You'll save hundreds monthly just from this. Why use my referral link? You get a $10, $30,000 sign-up bonus based on your deposit. Most of my followers get $100. No deposit? You'll still get $10 minimum. Big traders can earn up to $30,000 with required trading volume. Click here to see your potential bonus. Links below. Enjoy the video. A death cross occurred on Bitcoin's daily chart, with the 50-day moving average crossing below the 200-day. The price is currently below the 200-day moving average. This is an extremely bearish signal. Moreover, it's a clear indication of a potential global trend shift. An even stronger signal will come when the 100-day MA crosses below the 200-day MA. This is likely to happen soon. What should we do now? What's next for the market? Are we really facing a bottom? I'll address these questions in this video. But to start, don't panic about Bitcoin. It's too early to call a trend reversal. However, this signal is particularly relevant for altcoins. These trend change signals are most effective during weak market conditions. Take a look at Solana, for example. Notice the descending triangle pattern at the top. It's a very weak market following a strong uptrend. Well, it's not weak yet, but there's a distribution forming a downward trend. Look at any other alt, they're all weak. Head and shoulders pattern, breaking down, bottoming out. So what's my point? The alt market is very weak with few exceptions. Check out this chart. You might want to note down the ticker. It shows the ratio of alt market cap to Bitcoin's market market cap. There's been a recent downward breakout from consolidation. The old bottom's broken. No clue where the new one will form. It's just falling and falling. Alts are extremely weak. When such a bearish signal forms in a weak market, you can't ignore it. Alts are weak right now. Alts are likely to keep dropping. Especially if the coin has hasn't dropped much yet. A death cross is forming on Solana too, but Bitcoin's momentum is enough if such a signal has formed here. With weak alts, it'll keep dropping. This trend is visible on the chart I just showed you. For Bitcoin, it's not so clear-cut. Death crosses and golden crosses can give false signals during a flat market. In a flat market, prices fluctuate around key levels, causing multiple entry and exit signals. There will be many signals to buy and sell as price moves between the flat's extremes. Let me show you the last time we saw such signals in a flat market. It was a while ago, I'll need to open a different chart, like from Binance. Look closely, the last death cross occurred here. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. Here it is happening in the flat too. I wanted to rewind back to 2019 to 2020. Actually, something similar occurred in 2023. They bounced off the bottom, traded, couldn't hold the top, dipped a bit and flattened out. In fact, this whole thing is one big flat. Here too, we saw a death cross. It even crossed the 100 and 200 day lines. But during the flat, as you see, this signal didn't work. But overall, it works very well. Look at the previous highs, for instance. Clear exit signal. Bitcoin was at 50,000, then fell to 16, but there was also a big flat up here. 
where the second death cross signal worked perfectly. The first one was so-so, because when Bitcoin was at 39,000, it still went up to 68, despite the death cross forming. So in a flat, it works poorly. It works well when we have a downward trend in the market. Downward patterns in a weak market are currently driving altcoins to the floor. For Bitcoin, it's important to assess the flat period and the context preceding it. Bull run, bull run, tautology, yes my apologies. Wild growth bull market followed by a failure to surpass previous highs. Technically it briefly hit an all-time high but fell back below it. Crucially, when overcoming an uptrend in a sending triangle should soar higher but it failed to break through. This is a mega bearish signal. Bitcoin didn't sell off vertically, instead it found support and entered a flat period. If you're new to technical analysis, look up these concepts online. What is a flag pattern? A flag is a consolidation within an uptrend that typically leads to a continuation of that trend. And when we have a failure to make a new high, time high, a bull flag is forming though there was a total destruction signal before any death crosses. It was bought out. Plus, Japan raised interest rates recently. I covered this in my last review. Crypto took a big hit that day. Record trading volume in crypto history. The entire sell-off was bought back in days. Panic sellers at low prices were all bought out. This fits the bullish pattern near Bitcoin's all-time high within this flat. The death cross here, even if it's double, doesn't matter much. What matters is the 48,000 level. Breaking it would match breaking the global uptrend. Only then can we talk about a crypto winter and Bitcoin half rolling somewhere. Until we break this concrete level where the buyback happened, further drops aren't likely. Yes, it's quite a long way to fall to that level from the current point, around 17%. So if you're sitting there with 10x or even 5x leverage, it's clear you won't make it. You won't have a stop here, you'll get liquidated and possibly sooner. But this means that on higher time frames, you generally shouldn't go long at times like these. The death cross is not a long setup, no need to enter now. If you've been holding a long time, you were likely liquidated long ago, or you entered right at good low levels and are still holding on. Well, in that case, you're doing fine. You'll have a good stop loss behind a concrete support level, below which crypto, Bitcoin in this case, will drop to zero. Alts will likely drop regardless, because as I said, the bottom has been broken, and it's unknown when and at what level a new one will form. It's just down, down, down. But within the bullish flag, Bitcoin is being bought up well in the uptrend. It doesn't respond significantly to strong bearish signals, and talk of a reversal will only come up when reaching 48,000. 40 680. Well, this is according to Bybit. According to futures, there's a plus or minus $100 on different exchanges. This level is reinforced concrete. This level is significant. As long as we don't break through it, everything is okay. Ideally, you could stay in longs. If you're buying on the spot, there are no issues at all. Yes, after breaking through it, you'll have to switch to shorts. You'll need to sell. But for now, you can sit calmly. And now let me show you how... Uh, setups actually look at a spread and the last setup that I traded will be visible in 15 minutes. I'll show you about Bitcoin. Here it is in ascending triangle which uh, couldn't be closed upwards. More accurately, the level was broken. It turned out to be a false breakout. The delayed longest came here. Everyone who shorted here also knocked them out in their trail and an immediate sale. I went short here and made good money on the drop. This is a solid reversal 
also set up. Hayes' local uptrend failed with a false breakout and quick vertical fall. The market's acting weak here, yeah. It's weak on the 15-minute chart. Let's ignore this part. A diamond reversal pattern is forming, but that's not important. This setup is key. Now compare this to what we see on the daily chart. Very similar situation here. Ascending triangle, false breakout. Actually, no breakout occurred. Selling started as it approached. Trend breakout, but instead of a sharp drop, a small uptrend formed and was bought up. This isn't a weak market. There's strength here, and it's still holding. Look at these record volumes during this buyback. Don't panic. Bitcoin's doing just fine. If you're shorting too early, you're taking huge risks. You might end up deep in the red, especially with Bitcoin's daily frame. These increased risks are on you. If you're new to trading and want to learn, check out my free mini course. It's pinned in my Telegram channel. There are four free lessons you can start anytime. The content will always be relevant. Click the link in the description to join my Telegram channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Good luck.